systems. The ceramic alloy is a technology that we developed over 24 years of deep tech research and it emits a very special feel that is in terahertz level. So what it does is it actually uh, breaks up the water molecules in the water and allows it to be better absorbed by the plant. And that's why plants are able to grow better and uh, provide better yields. Okay, so they're mm. able to absorb uh, the yes. water more. But you've also mentioned uh, that the ceramic alloy capsules can actually also help with the incubation and help uh, with the, uh, the, the pre-growth stage of, of, of seeds. seeds help correct. us understand how that works as well. So before planting, right, farmers usually keep their seed in storage. But instead of keeping it in storage right now, they can actually keep it in storage with the presence of my technology. And the fuel will affect the seed, giving it a boost in terms of the growing. So what happens is that as they plant it and grow it as per normal, the yield actually increases by 21%. And with the improved yield, right, what we hope to achieve is to allow farmers to be able to gain more and also provide more to the, to the community. So 21% yes. yield for farmers and some of these crops also are showing that they're, they're, yes. they're getting more of that particular yield. So I have to talk about the context of Singapore's 30 by 30 goal, which is to get 30% of our nutrition in the city state developed through local supplies by 2030. How is JATEC and how is the ceramic alloy application perhaps fitting into this broader scheme of Singapore and who are you working with with regards to this? With regards to uh, the 30 30 goal, right? What uh, agricultural tech companies like us, we provide this technology to help support reaching that goals. In Singapore, a lot of the urban farms are facing challenges in terms of uh, cost of power, cost of manpower, and also improve, increase in cost of fertilizers. Mm -hmm. But with our technology, they can actually improve the yield without the addition of more power, without the addition of more chemicals into their setup. And it's easy to deploy and easy to use. So they do not need to be disrupted. They can grow as per normal and yet achieve an uh, improve in yield. With this, we hope to help Singapore achieve that 30 30 goal. Right. What about, say, mm. uh, are there any particular cost benefits for, uh, for folks who are adopting this uh, technology <laughs> as yeah. compared to, say, some of the other urban farming methods that we're seeing right now? Can you talk to us about whether or not there are those incentives? Yes. So in terms of our technology rise, right, what we do is that because we treat both the water and the seed in either, of the, uh, either form, so what happens is that uh, the user do not need to buy any fancy or expensive equipment. They just need to install our technology at the uh, end where they actually uh, extract the water mm -hmm. or in terms of where the water comes out. Right. Or we treat the seed at the storage level. So there's no large equipment to buy, complex equipment to operate, and yet they're able to see the improve in the yield. Right. And that's what we talk about urban farming. And in this case where you see in uh, Nick's farm, they're actually soil based. So our technology works well in both hydroponic setup and also a soil-based setup. So it's applicable for all types of farms. Are you working with other urban farms other than Farmer Nick? Or are there plans to 